The decision to close the New, Bo New Bedford hurricane barrier is actually a complicated procedure involving many stakeholders. In this edition of Scientifically Speaking, Kelly Bates shows us the mechanics of this process from the moment the decision is made to the gate's closing. There isn't one person who decides to close the hurricane barrier. The decision to close the gates of the New Bedford hurricane protection barrier is made by agreement by town, city, municipal, and federal agencies. Needless to say, it's not made in a few moments' time. Operators arrive more than two hours before the closure happens. Barrier engineers then start the process of notification. When we know we'll operate, we'll put a strobe light on, it's Fort Tabor. Um, well, we'll turn it on and it'll flash a little bit faster so it'll allow the larger vessels to know and uh, give them at least 20 or 30 minutes notice. They also send out notification over radio to ships at sea of closing as well. This is the control room. You know, we control everything um, from this board. Immediately before operation, the compressors shoot air down the airlines to clear debris off the track that the doors will close on. It's powered by uh, 25 horsepower electric motors that are kind of connected to a 1800 to 1 reduction Philadelphia gear that is above a sprocket. So the sprocket rotates and I'll kind of show you onto a uh, drive rack. So there's 100 drive pins on each gate that the sprocket rotates on, pulls the gates into the channel. The speed of the gates closing is variable. Slow at the start, then quicker, then slow again before closed. The whole process takes 15 minutes for the gates to meet in the center of the 150-foot channel. Scientifically speaking, Kelly Bates, ABC6.